Hi guys, it's Haven here, and Boogie is with me today. She's going to help me get this started. And with Neon Girl, my mom is going to be doing a negative space pour mm -hmm. with neon, neon colors. colors. Enjoy. Enjoy, please, and thank you, Coochies. <laughs> Okay, so as she did introduce it, we are doing a negative pour today. I'm using neon colors. This is for, I think I'm going to say it right. I always got to look it up, but it's acrylic artists and YouTube support group. I will have the link information in my description for this, but we're going to get started. I have, like I said, neon colors. got neon orange, pink, green, and yellow, and I also mix up a little bit of a dirty cup. And yes, we're going to start with... The green. And I think I'm going to do like I did on my last one. Just kind of do it as a petal pour because that kind of helps it go around and do. And I did already prime prep my canvas with the black just to kind of save time. And these paints are glow in the dark, so they will glow and be spiffy looking under a black light. I really love them. My mom does the glow in the dark neon colors because they're really pretty. Yes, we all like neon glow in the dark around here. Yeah, but Dad, he's not a big fan of it. Dad likes it too. He just he's more of glow in the dark, but not so much of the neon stuff. Yeah. Any more bugs, buddy? We'll take okay. them outside. Okay, but take them outside, please, so we don't lose them in the house. Thank you. Yellow. I did put all the colors in the mix cup, it just doesn't want to all come out. Okay, I think I'll try. Oh, I'm not out. Okay. Sissy help you with your shoe. And the paints are mixed with water and floor troll, or paint and floor troll 50-50, and water to the right consistency, and I did not put any silicone in this one. And didn't even do a mixing cup with silicone, so I should not get the funny little silicone thingies I've been getting. Okay. I don't want to stick anything in that corner or not. Okay. Should I do a tiny one? Huh? And we'll pop some pink on top of it. Okay. Come on. 
this away. Bring them all back. This away. This way. Sorry, that one might have been way off camera there. This is one of my bigger canvases. I think it's a 11 by 14. And I should have probably done lower. So the whole thing would have stayed in frame. Stretch that back out that way. Kind of interesting. No. Nope, I don't want to blow on it. I like it. Torch it real quick. Did you drop the bug? Did you find it? Okay. Thank you for not losing it in the house, babe. Yes, kiddos are playing with roly poly buggies. And I love catching them. Yeah, some of them survive and get let go, and some of them don't quite make it that far. Okay, I'm thinking I like it. So. And the best way to flip them over is like with a long pair, pair of tweezers. Yeah, for the roly polies, yes. Just because after. Okay. So, I've shown so here we go, guys. Bring it in for a close up. This is my negative space. I've got some interesting colors. It's definitely gonna glow. Once it's all dry. I think my favorite part of it though is that one right there. I just kind of feathered it. Okay, well I want to thank you all for watching. Have a great day. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think of this. Have a good one, and don't forget to laugh because the day without laughter is a wasted day. Until next time, have a good one. Bye.